right, moving to the next tab, we're going to take a look at if error. So sometimes uh, we want to be able to essentially catch an error in an if statement. So for example, earnings per share is defined as net earnings divided by shares outstanding. So just to write that formula, I would write 1500 divided by zero or cell C5 divided by C6 and press enter. And of course we get an error because we know that we cannot divide by zero. But if I copy and paste that formula over to 2021, then we actually do get uh, a number because we're no longer dividing by zero. Okay, so an if error uh, function returns a value uh, that you specify if a formula evaluates to an error. So in this case, we'll specify what value we want Excel to give us if there is an error. And if the formula does not result in an error, then it will just simply return the result of the formula. So I'm going to show you how to build in an if error statement and output NM or not meaningful if there would otherwise be an error. For example, We'll do equals if error. And remember, I see that that's uh, coming up under Excel for a suggestion. So I'm going to hit tab. And I will select 1500 divided by the zero, which we know will have an error. And so this is the value that it's evaluating. And then type comma in quotations NM. And what I'm saying to Excel is evaluate this formula. If there's no error, fine, show me the results of that formula. But if there is an error, don't show me there's an error, just output whatever I tell you to, in this case, NM. Press enter, and alas, we have NM showing up because there would be an error. Now, just to show you, if I selected these cells and pressed F9, it would show me that there is a div zero error. Okay, press escape before you return. But you can look into that argument and see what Excel is evaluating that as. Now, if I copy that error and paste it here, it shows me the actual results of dividing 1850 by 50. 